subscribe, ring the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Gattis Kandes. Where are you from? Uh, Latvia. Okay, from Latvia. Why did you, why did you come here? Uh, I came, came here to live. My name is Gattis Kandis and I'm originally from Latvia, but now I live in uh, West Hendon near Sainsbury's and I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy. Uh, at the gigs I've been doing, uh, people usually laugh, but then sometimes I get heckled and it's painful. And sometimes they're just quiet, which is also painful. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Simon, and then I found out Carmen Electra is going to be there. Very excited to see her. And um, the other two judges. <laughs> well, David Williams is obviously, he's a, he's a comedian. All right, okay. I, I didn't know that David's going to be there. Okay. Do you know who he is? No. Okay, good luck. Um, okay. Uh, um, okay, uh, hello. Uh, are there any guys with big muscles in the audience? No, good, then I'll talk about them. Um, it, you, know, you know, those big muscles make those guys so heavy that they cannot ride a pony. Um, However, they can break a fragile toilet seat. I mean, I mean, do they work out to attract the ladies? Well, actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets. Can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. Uh, seeing is believing, and weeing is relieving. He's the funniest bloke we've had in Hammersmith. More? Yes! <laughs> are, are you well? Yeah. No, you're not a well, you, you're a person. <laughs> What is going on here? You are the funniest, unfunniest comedian I have ever heard in my life. I mean, absolute rubbish, but <laughs> it actually really, really made me laugh. Yeah, that, that was my uh, aim, to make you laugh. Well, you certainly did that, Gattis. It was so bad that it was actually brilliant. Yeah. You mustn't change. You seriously must not change. Not even the jumper. Keep the jumper. <laughs> well, what's wrong with my jumper? There's nothing mate? wrong with it. It's hilarious. I'm going to kick this off because you did actually make me laugh, and that's what comedians are supposed to do, so I'm going to say yes. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yes. It's a no from me today. Oh. David? So it rests with me. The way you must judge comedy is did it make you laugh? made me laugh. I'm going to say yes. yes. Well done, you're free from those well. well done. You've only worked right and bleeding, done it! <laughs> Hello.
Hello. How you doing? What's your name, please? Uh, my name is Preacher Lawson. I love that. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 25. I'll turn 26 in two hours. He's young enough to be with me. Are you single, married? I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? She's dope. Yeah. And what do you do for a living? I'm a stand-up comedian, which means I'm unemployed and I do stand-up on the side. <laughs> All right, best of luck. All right. Uh, I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh, my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blissed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. No, we need more. We need more. That's for sure. Preacher, can I have just one more joke? <laughs> All right. Uh... I don't feel safe driving with my grandma because she's really spiritual. She loved the Lord to the point where she's not afraid of dying. So I don't like that, all right? <laughs> I don't like being in a car with someone that's not afraid of death, okay? Like, she got that attitude like, if I die, I'm going to heaven, so it don't matter. <laughs> I'm like, it does matter because I'm in the car, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is how spiritual my grandma is. If I got shot in the chest with a gun eight times, instead of her calling the ambulance, she would get on her knees praying like, please. Lord Jesus, I get these eight demons outside my grandbaby's chest. Let the bullets rise up and part ways from his chest like Moses to the Red Sea. Yes, Lord. I let the blessings rain down. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Lil John 316. <laughs> 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 okay, Pichon. Let me go to Howie first. You knocked it out of the park. You really did. Nothing could throw a comic more than say, hey, give me one more thing. And the fact that he was just able to deliver. You are funny physically. You're funny with your voices. You got great energy. What do you mean I... he's funny physically? He has a great body. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> you know what? You were just right on point from the get-go. And I love that feeling of a confident comic. You are brilliant. Thank you so much. I think that you're really funny and your timing is so good. And I just want to see more. You know what I preferred, actually, the one you just ad-libbed, was it told me more about you. I think you are unbelievably talented. And I think this could be your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. I like you. Ah. We're gonna vote. Let me start with Howie. Yes! Oh man, thank you so much. Yes from me! Yeah. I love you. Yeah! I'm gonna give you a yes. Yeah! Yes! Uh, Preacher, is your grandmother still around? It's her birthday today. And what's her name? Her name is Virginia Phillips. Well, look, give her my love because you've got four yeses. Congratulations. What's your name? Marty Ross. And where are you from? Santa Clarita, California. OK. What do you do for a living? What did I do? OK. I was a salesman in the clothing industry for almost 50 years. And what is it that you're going to do? Stand-up comedy. Yeah. Is this something you always wanted to do and then? Yeah. Why didn't you start earlier? Uh, here's the thing. I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know I, I didn't know I can stand in front of these many people and do what I do. Yeah. Are you married? 
I have three ex-wives. That's a routine. Yeah, right. So that means I need a million dollars, like, as soon as possible. <laughs> um, what would winning mean to you? Are you kidding me? First of all, winning at any age is incredible. Yeah, and you your know, age is? How old are you? 80. What? You're 80? I'm 80. Oh, my God. Wow. 80. Uh, it would mean everything to me because just the dream to be able to do this show with so many talented people is, yeah. is incredible. Good on yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So dazzle us with your humor, and uh, I hope we all get to witness your dream come true. Thank you very much. Here we go. So I turned 80 a few months ago, and people are saying the weirdest things to me, like, oh, you're 80? You're almost dead. Are you afraid? I'm like, no, I'm not afraid. My mother made it to 101. And if you want to know the family secret, we don't die. No, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. Um, so I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. <laughs> oh, whoa. I said, what did your doctor say? She said, my doctor said I have to build up a tolerance. <laughs> so naturally, I said, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Wow. Thanks. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> you look happy. I am. I'm, I'm quite delighted. Hello. And uh, what's your name? It's, my name is Deliso. Deliso Chaponda. That's Deliso an amazing Chaponda. name. That's a Malawian name. I'm Malawian. Really? Yes. So I'm from Malawi, but I live in Manchester. Why have you come on Britain's Got Talent? I've come to, to make the people laugh. I am a comedian. Oh, and yes! A, a comedy writer. I would love the winner of Britain's Got Talent this year to be a comedian. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Who are you here with? So I'm here just alone. I, I, my brother, no, no, he wanted to come. He's a doctor. And he was like, either I should save lives or come with you. <laughs> were your parents disappointed that one of you was a comedian, one of you was a doctor? They were absolutely horrified because I was studying computer programming. So uh -huh. I had a future. <laughs> and I just decided, no, let me be a clown. <laughs> So we shall see. Oh, darling, good luck. Okay, excellent. Well, I'm at that age now. All my friends are getting married, and married people forget how horrible it is being single. They love to call me and complain about their couple problems. Always get, you're so lucky being single. I get home, my wife just starts nagging, nag, nag, nag. I'm like, hey, I have to nag myself. <laughs> I get home, I'm like, what time do I call this? <laughs> Why don't I ever do the dishes? Sometimes I think I don't appreciate myself. <laughs> I haven't always been a comedian. I did some weird jobs. I used to clean houses, and I'll admit I was tempted to steal. <laughs> I didn't steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal, but nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. I took a stereo, left a Walkman. <laughs> took a plasma screen, left an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> As I mentioned, I am from Africa. I moved here 10 years ago. And immediately I moved here, I heard a lot of British people talking about the financial crisis, the recession. 
I'm from Africa. What are you maniacs talking about? <laughs> you call that a crisis? If that's a crisis, where is UNICEF? <laughs> <laughs> where is Bono? <laughs> I have not seen one save the UK concert. <laughs> you can tell me it's a financial crisis when there are planes flying over Birmingham tossing fish and chips out the window. <laughs> It'll be a financial crisis when there are ads on television saying this chav has to walk five miles a day <laughs> to get a bottle of WKD Blue. <laughs> and 100%, you have got a financial crisis when India starts opening call centers here. <laughs> Can you imagine some poor guy in Mumbai calls his bank, ends up talking to a Brummy? <laughs> Thank you so much, Brummy. I mean, laugh after laugh after laugh. It just kept on coming. And I really want you to win the entire series! Thank you so much. Thank you. I think you could. And I think you have a golden future. Oh, I thank do, you honestly. so much. I'm shocked and delighted. So am Great. I. <laughs> I mean, my face is hurting from laughing. I'm so pleased that Amanda pressed a golden buzzer for you. You are brilliant, and I cannot wait to hear more from you. Well thank done. You so much. Thank you very much. You should be a comedy superstar. Yes. All the jokes were really original, and you are incredibly likable. I couldn't fault it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, well, not only do I think you're an undiscovered little star, I could see you owning your own show. Thank you. What you did was so funny and naughty <laughs> and unique. This is why we make shows like this, to find people like you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Good evening. What's your name? My name is Samuel J. Camro. I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, wow. How long have you been doing that? I've uh, been doing comedy for 10 years now. Do you do, you do it full-time? Yeah, do it full-time. OK. Are you nervous? No, I, uh, I, I have Tourette syndrome, so I oh. twitch a lot. I blink real fast. My head flops around. If you see that, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank you. And what does this mean to you, coming to AGT now? This means everything. I've worked my entire life for a moment like this. They don't come very often. I'm really grateful. I just had a baby girl, and this is a beautiful opportunity. Wow, and your family's all supportive of this career? Yes, since I started, they've been 100% behind me, so I'm very thankful. All right. Well, you know what? It's scary enough doing whatever you do to hit that X, and I just want the best for you. I Thank really you. do. Thanks so much. Go ahead. Thank you. So like I said, I have Tourette syndrome. It's why my head flops around. I blink real fast. It's weird. It always looks like I'm trying to tell you a secret. <laughs> this twitch gets me in trouble. My roommate came home from work. I was like, dude. 
our neighbor died. <laughs> he said, did you kill him? <laughs> I was like, nah. <laughs> Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. <laughs> oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch, and everybody saw that, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Kids were rolling on the ground. I was in the corner, like, why'd they send us here? <laughs> Our parents were on top of a hill, like, oh, they're breakdancing. <laughs> I'm Samuel J. Conroe. Thank you. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you very much. It feels really good to be back. Thank you very much. Are you performing the same thing that you did when you came the first time? No, 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 no. That, that didn't go so well for me the last time. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. So, for those of you here, I do want to apologize. Terry, I know you weren't here last time, but honestly, I wouldn't have made fun of you anyway. You truly shine. You and Howie clearly go to the same barber, just not the same gym. <laughs> Howie, what? look at that marvelous head. You weren't born, you were hatched. <laughs> Howie, I'm sorry, these are just jokes. Remember when you were a comedian? Why are you laughing? Heidi, I'm so sorry you're not here, but I understand why you can't be here today. You are a Sports Illustrated model, and I'm sure you're off on their seniors tour. <laughs> On to the lady who puts the more in a more. Hello, Sophia Vergara. Hello. I love you. Oh, come on. That's not very fair. And finally, from beauty to beast. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Simon, how are you a vegan and that's the least annoying thing about you? <laughs> I will say I am so excited for your new movie. What's it called? Fifty Shades of Tan? <laughs> In closing, Yes, I am sorry. I'm sorry that none of the judges were born in this country. So while America's got talent, <laughs> it does not have a strong immigration policy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh, I don't know why I like you. You're such a d <laughs> <laughs> I do. I know. I know. You know, in the moment, when I saw you the first time, I didn't know what was hitting me, and I kind of got swept up in the whole audience. And then I watched it, and I, I thought you were hysterical. Thank you! And I like it, and I'd like to hear more of it. It was a lot easier without the peasants booing me this time. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. He's hilarious. Okay, how are you still though? Oh, yes. Okay. I think it was great, yes. Heidi is going to be so mad at us for doing this, but you've got three S's. Keep insulting us. We love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well done. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Hello, Alicia. How are you? I'm good. I'm really, really good. I was not expecting to see you today. I've known Kojo for many, many years. Kojo, I'll let you tell my fellow judges about yourself. I'm a stand-up comedian. 
Um, been doing comedy for 20 years. Um, I've spent most of those 20 years encouraging young comedians and helping big name comedians and opening up for them. And my new fiance, We've, we've got a little boy called Roman, who's here as well. And she said that it was about time that I started thinking about myself and... My son. Who makes you laugh? Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. OK, well, look, Koji, you know the show. Three minutes, do your stuff. Good luck, darling. Thank you very much. Come on, Coach! I want a good one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am a new dad for the first time. But all I want to do is be better than my dad, right? My dad had no patience, right? Me and my best friend, Michael Murphy, after school every day, we'd play football on the estate. I had the parent who would ruin that game by calling me inside for something I didn't think was necessary. All you would hear, because I've got African parents, right? My dad would shout like, Kujo, come here. <laughs> Now, Michael always had a confrontation with my dad. He was like, coach, 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 what's going on, mate? <laughs> the coach, you're a big man, you're 11. <laughs> you go in there and you tell him that this enough's enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was a little part of me that believed in Michael's spirit. <laughs> but then I remembered he don't live in my house. <laughs> so I turned to my dad, I said, dad, what's up? Go to the store and get me Ribena. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is all I said. Dad! <laughs> can't you get it yourself? <laughs> it was 1 p.m., but it got dark real quick. <laughs> the pigeons weren't even flying anymore. They came down to warn me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have any jokes. I've got problems. Have you ever been to a bank, right? Because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays, right? Have you ever gone into a bank? You've seen four available windows, four! But there's only one person working. Yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says, don't worry, she won't be long. Go and help her! <laughs> Why are you out here? You get to the cashier because it's your turn, right? They've now given the cashiers microphones, yeah? So everybody can hear your financial situation. I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like, <laughs> can I get one pound 50, please? <laughs> that weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open? <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? <laughs> but I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how'd you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was so frustrated that I rushed out of the bank. I rushed out to be greeted by the most creative homeless person I have ever met. He rushed up to me and said, look, mate, I know you're in a rush, but can I please get 20 pence to get something to eat? Ladies and gentlemen, I looked at him and said, you know where to eat for 20 pence? I said, mate, I'm coming with you. <laughs> I've got dinner for the both of us. <laughs> when, you, when you're broke, right, and you ain't got no money, there's certain things that you can't enjoy. Like a cab ride, right? You can't enjoy the black cab ride. You can't enjoy it, right? I went into a black cab recently. Me and my mate, we jumped in. He was getting comfortable. Clearly, he's got more money than me. He was looking outside the window, talking to the driver. He fell asleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you ain't got no money, you only look at one thing, the meter. <laughs> the experience in a black cab is the most awful thing ever. They charge you before you even speak to the driver. You step in, 250. Hold on a minute. You sit down, three pound. Hey! Let's discuss this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's got to a point where I don't even have a destination when I get into a black cab. When a driver says, where do you want to go? I say, take me to five pound. <laughs> Very good. My name's Kojo, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
Kojo, when you came on, I loved hearing about how you've grafted, how you've honed your act, how you've now got your little family. Yeah, and the act just got better and better, and then by the end you were like, yeah, I'd pay money to see this man. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Man. I'm so happy right now. I've always respected you. My respect level for you has just gone way up there, my friend. And uh, let's see how far you can take it now. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Well, you know, when someone's really funny, there is nothing much to say other than you are brilliantly funny. Yeah. You made everyone laugh. Um, you've kind of got all bases covered as a comedian. You're brilliantly likeable. You've got fantastic observational routines. I think you did yourself really proud today. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kojo, what was quite amazing was I felt that you were nervous. Then I could see the audience reacting to you and you reacting to them. But I'm going to be honest with you, Kojo, I don't really like comedians on this show. But I love you. I really get it. I have to tell you, I don't know what it is. You are so funny and so unpredictable. You just got the most amazing energy. This is the break you've been waiting for. Thank you so much. I could not be happy with you. you. Enjoy this. Hi, Vicky. Hello, Simon. We really, really enjoyed your first audition. Of all the comedians we had, you were the one I remembered. Now, I know you're nervous. What's gone through your head? Well, you know, just we we'll hope the jokes turn out good. The audience likes it. There's four dollars in it for every one of you who laughs. So uh, <laughs> I'll just, just tell you, Vicky, I always ask this question: million dollars. What would you do with the money? I'd buy a trailer in Malibu so I could be closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, okay. Well, can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Good luck. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I got a new outfit. Do you like it? Thank you. Do you like it? Thank you. Thank you. I shop local. I did. I found this at the hospice thrift store of Beverly Hills. Thank you. <laughs> My daughter, she's like, Mom, that is so gross. Hospice. Ew. What if somebody died in it? <laughs> All right. Well, at least she died sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? OK. So my daughter turns 16, and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella, and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> When I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. OK? <laughs> right? So I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask. Right? right. Howie? Right. I'm not going to get on a bus full of first graders sober. Not, not whatever. OK? <laughs> right? I take on my flask. You know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! You know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? And I'm like, calm down, biatch. I'm not driving this bus. But I feel bad, you young moms. I wouldn't want to be a young mom today, not for anything. The pressure's unbelievable, right? You got to teach your baby to read. <laughs> My baby read some Tennyson today. What'd your stupid little baby read? My baby to read. I don't want my baby crawling around going, what's past due? <laughs> Shut up, baby. <laughs> Shut your little baby face. You guys will be great. Thank you so much. $4. Yeah.
everybody. Well done, Vicky. <laughs> OK, Olivia, first time you saw Vicky, what do you think? I love you so much. I wish I had two of these. I would give it to you. You talk the way that, like, my friends and I talk, and Thanks. you're so funny, and I just want to say, shut your little baby face to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> shut your little baby face. What's your name? My name is Matt Edwards. Hi, Matt. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you from, Matt? I'm, I'm from uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Great. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Do you have a day job? Um, I... Do, do, do I look young? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm a magician, is what I do for my day job. Oh, lovely. So tell us something about you that makes you different from other magicians that we may have seen on the show. <laughs> um... <laughs> I think the, what makes me different from other magicians is um, the type of magic I perform isn't necessarily sleight of hand. It's a little bit uh, crazy, a little bit variety, I would say. Mm. Hmm. It's like the sound of that. All right, well, we look forward to your act. Good luck. So I do it now? Yeah. It's lovely to meet you all. Uh, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Senors and senores, bienvenidos a la Rachel, and an Lee Evans and magic. to present a magic trick. It's just... I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. It was sort of... 
silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist, which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you started with that voice, I thought this is going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. Okay, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're really likeable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you, it's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Good, you know. It's good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote. David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, we were laughing so much, I thought I was going to pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. We were, well I, deserved. Honestly, we loved the act, and then Simon, you said it. He's 34 years old, and for some reason, he hasn't been given the break up yeah. until now. And so we just wanted to be, be there and do it. Honestly, well done. Well done. Funny. Really good. Really good. Really good. Love it. Yes! Oh. That's a good one! Yeah! He picked a good one! I like him. I've got to tell you, Matt, they were absolutely on the money. This is what it's all about. Dreams come true. Good for you. You deserve it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Loved it. Oh my Honestly, God. that was just. Oh I haven't seen wow. energy in a routine like that for years. Tell us you've got those moments in your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a song. I've so much that I'm ready to show the world. Brilliant. Good. Thank you so much for the opportunity You're to welcome, show man. the world. You're welcome, man. You're live straight through the semi finals. Oh, my God. I need to do it. I need to do it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And who are you? My name is Ryan Beard. Ryan Beard, and how old are you, Ryan? I'm 18 years old. Nice to meet you, Ryan. It's nice to meet you too, Simon. And where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Kansas City. Okay, so tell me about you. I love, uh, love singing, and I um, think that this is the place for me. And you live with your mom and dad? I do live with my mom and dad, yes. Okay, and where did you go to school? I, uh, I went to school inside of my living room. I was your really? homeschooled. Yeah. Good job, Mom. Did you like that? Oh, how could I not love having my parents there 24-7? <laughs> what is the prom like? What's the prom like? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you dim the lights, my younger brother comes in <laughs> and slow dance the night away. I like that. So it wasn't your choice, Ryan, to be homeschooled? It was not my choice, no. They, they sort of made you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about girls? Did it help you with girls? <laughs> Did being homeschooled help me with girls? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> 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 
Not exactly, no. <laughs> not exactly. So do you have a girlfriend now? No, I do not have a girlfriend. Aww. And also, I've never had one, so. No, really? What's the song you're gonna sing? I'll be doing a song called Ladies Man. <laughs> You wrote it? Yeah. Okay. Look, all the ladies are already standing. Look at that. Look at that. I see some ladies are already excited about it. I told you the ladies were gonna love them. type of guy that the ladies just can't refuse I'm the guy who understands everything about social cues Hi, I, I, I like your face <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got this way A social butterfly the ladies never leave alone <laughs> Well, the answer is pretty clear, it's cuz I was schooled at home <laughs> Who needs friends or relationships? I can get those things from my cat Cinnamon <laughs> I could stay in bed till 3 p.m. And be completely naked for my final exams <laughs> The only time I thought ah, something might be wrong is when my day to the prom was my mom. <laughs> Don't go to prom with your mom. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you loved our compilation and let us know who some of your favorites are that we should feature in a compilation next. We love your feedback. While you're on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you know each time we post a new video. Also, follow Talent Recap on all social medias. I'm talking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's a good time. Plus, head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on talent shows that you won't want to miss. Hey y'all, if you're still here, either you're a hardcore fan or you have nothing else to do. Either ways, stick around. Now let me tell you a secret. You already know about, about our YouTube channel, because duh, you're right here. But we also have a website with millions of visitors. It's the only website exclusively dedicated to reality TV competition shows called talentrecap.com. My name is Murganka and I'm the managing editor of talentrecap.com. My job is to work with other writers to make sure that we get you all exclusive content related to talent shows. Also, inside scoop on the judges, exclusive interviews, polls, newsletters, and fun quizzes. Now, if that sounds like your kind of thing, come visit us at talentrecap.com. Hi, I'm Samantha, and while you're still here, let me quickly tell you about our weekly talent recap show that I am one of the hosts of. Each week, two hosts sit down and discuss our favorite moments from reality talent competition shows. Think of it as a sports after show for talent competitions. We discuss the eliminations, talk about predictions for the next week, and we also talk about some of our favorite acts. It's a fun and exciting way to vent our frustrations, but also talk about some of the most epic moments on these shows. But the best part is talking to the fans. We love reading your comments and interacting with you guys and sharing some of the same emotions towards some of the acts. It's a perfect way for a fan like me to interact with a fan like you. This video's over and I didn't expect you to still be here, but since you are, let's talk more about Talent Recap and what I do here. My name is Summer Monet and I am a host for Talent Recap What's Hot. This segment is designed to take a deeper look at our favorite contestants, favorite moments, and our favorite celebrity judges. If there's any drama or controversy, you bet that we will give you the full scoop. Let me tell you some examples. All the winners of America's Got Talent, where are they now? How much money do these judges make? 
all the women Simon Cowell dated. And trust me, there's a lot of them and so on. I love talking to you guys, reading your feedback and your comments, so please keep them coming. I am Summer Monet, and now you know what's hot. Oh, what are you still doing here? But wait, since you've stuck around this long, hi, I'm Kayla, and I'm the director of video content here at Talent Recap. I work behind the scenes, managing our YouTube channel and editing all of our videos. At Talent Recap, we create fun and engaging videos on all of our favorite talent shows, including America's Got Talent, American Idol, The Voice, The Masked Singer, and so much more by the fans, for the fans. I personally am a huge fan of these shows, but I want to know, what are some of your favorite shows? We love to get feedback from our fans, and we love talking to you guys. Now you may have seen our talent recap show, or perhaps it was Cody Lee's unforgettable audition that caught your eye. But we've got other segments that you've got to check out, like What's Hot, Talent Reactions, Top Acts, and Red Carpet Interviews. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we upload a video. I'm Samantha. I'm Summer Monet. I'm Kayla. And that's, and that's, and that's our talent recap. Hey you, stop swiping on dating apps and start swiping through Talent Recap's playlists. We've got compilations, we've got red carpet interviews, what's hot videos, and recap shows. And I think it's time we take our relationship to the next level. I'm talking hit that subscribe button right now. No, I'm totally kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. You should still subscribe so you're up to date on all of our latest content. And thanks for watching.